Hello, people. Happy Friday. Hope everybody had a good day today. It's 11 o'clock Friday night on my end. But uh, I came back to do a few small wax reviews. I, I'm not going to get fully, fully in the detail, but I will tell you, you know, where the companies rank on my wax list and, you know, how I like the scent, a little bit about the throw. But first, I just want to show you kind of because y'all hear a lot of me saying y'all hear me saying a lot of the times you know my sitting area and i just want to kind of show some of you when it comes to the way a wax performs like a lot of it has to do with the space that the wax that the scent has to disperse into you know how much space um how high the ceilings are all of that takes into effect you know how a wax may perform in your house and not necessarily that they're not a good wax company now some companies just not a good wax company if you have a ton of people saying the same thing like I'm not getting any throw from this wax or something like that but there are a lot of factors that go into how well a wax performs in your house again just because it may perform well in my house it may not perform well in your house or it may be very very strong in in your house where in my house it may not be so basically um this is the sitting area with my wax with my thing that's my son's hall the down the hallway that um the hallway you see in my son's rooms my three boys rooms this is the sitting area where my daughter's room is off to the side this is the loft up here is a big space this is my living room down here y'all see how high the ceilings are this is the foyer that's the hallway to the small garage in my office this is the dining room um, the front door this is my office area rarely do I smell the wax go all the way into my office but I will smell it in the hallway that's my powder room that's where my other warmer is in my family room downstairs sitting on the fireplace you may see that little speck over in the corner right there so this is my family room downstairs and this is the kitchen area so it's they're big open spaces and it wraps back around to the dining room through the kitchen this is my living room again and basically if you go through the kitchen it just wraps back around to the dining room so basically you see the space that those you know i just have two warmers for that whole space as you can see and so these waxes have to do some scenting because as you see it has a lot of space to scent now i really don't care if the scent goes into my office because i'm not really in my office that much anymore the the kids the boys my two youngest are mostly uh the two that are in there and so it doesn't really matter but some once in a while i will smell a scent that will go down into the hallway the warmer that is in the sitting area normally scents up the foyer in the dining room and uh, my daughter's room and the loft but I melted, I've been melting these. I melted this cotton candy in my room today. And for those ladies who are looking for a very good cotton candy scent, Butterfly Lanes is number one. This is still going. I put this in about, I want to say about 1230, maybe I think. And it's still going. And I did use the whole thing. As you can see, it's 1.4 ounces um, of wax. Uh, I do use the whole thing and this thing will go for over 24 hours <clears throat> for those ladies who are looking for wax that goes for over a day. I change mine out every day, but I'm sorry, my voice sounds so raspy. I just came from my son's football game yelling, but um, <clears throat> I melted the Grim Reaper and the Mummy in my room. And I hope she puts these out in single scent. She said that she was, but I guess she's trying to sell the whole sampler first and then she will come out in single scents because I will definitely be buying 
these two and then I melted two in my in the common area that I just showed you yesterday one I think werewolf is like a fruity or fruity uh, scent and I can't remember the other one that I melted but I could have turned those warmers back on today and they would have still been going she uh, comes out to the gate these are these butterfly lane scent will come out the gate throwing at like a 10 and then after a couple of hours it will calm down to about a 7 8 it will stay at a 7 8 for at least 12 hours and that's when it will drop to maybe about a 6 and then at about maybe 16 hours it will drop to about a 4 or 5 and that's where to stay until the scent kind of goes but it lingers for well over 24 hours like it'll stay at about a four or five after the 24 hour mark her stuff she's number one on my list because i have not tried anything that didn't knock my socks off from her with the scent throw the scent um she ships very quickly considering um that most of the time when she's open is customs like when she does these samplers she only puts out what she has so she can ship them out really quick but even her customs do not take long because i did order some customs and i think within the time that i ordered to the time that they came it was about a week and a half no more than two weeks that i got them so yeah she is definitely her stuff throws stupid well in my bedroom and they throw stupid well in my common area that i just showed you just those two warmers and i use a whole wax chunk now you can probably use less but as you can see it's in my common area i have a lot of space to scent up and i was able to smell these even going down the hallway um where my son's room is which i never uh, you know really a lot of the times they do not walk down that hallway you may be able to smell it when you first you know go you know at the beginning beginning of the hallway like right at the opening and even in the loft like some of the scents they will only send up half of the loft when you get closer to where the window and the uh we have an air hockey table um, that's when it starts to, you don't really smell it. So, very good. Now, this one right here, y'all, was lick the air good. I melted this. I don't think I melted this in my common area. I think I'm saving this for my bedroom. But this was lick the air good. This went for oh, about 16 hours from front porch. This Fruit Loop Serendipity Marshmallow. And it came out the gate i want to say at like a nine eight nine and then it really didn't start to lighten up until after the 12 12 hour mark it probably went down to about a six and then once it got to about i don't know for whatever reason once it got to about 15 hours it dropped to about a five four or five and then by the 16th um hours 16 and a half hours it was really really light like a two three you know so i ended up dumping it but this oh my goodness this smelled up my entire room it even walked into my bathroom which a lot of scents do not do because my room is a nice size room as well most of the scents don't walk into my bathroom it'll stop at like where my closet is <clears throat> um yeah, very good, very good. She is very consistent, front porch. Very consistent company. And what I also like about her is you can put in requests. Now, this is just what I think. I think because when people put in requests, she don't carry stuff um, in her store from what I've been told. But she, when she makes her stuff, she wants it gone. You know, she don't want any like back stock really and so i think for a sense that she probably know will sell she will put out you know especially with the tart oil she may put out like four of them 
but it's not going to be a whole lot. So if you request the scent, you need to be on it, you know, um, keep watch to see if she's going to put your scent out when she restocks because she restocks Monday through Saturday and everybody's scent request is not going to get filled. But I think that if you're consistent in buying your request and just buying period, she will put up your scents, you know, that you request. And that's what I have um, seen because, of course, people put up so many requests and she can't do everybody's. But I think if you have really good scent requests or if you're really good with buying what you requested, she does know your name. Trust me. <laughs> and um, she will put she will put up your scent request because since I've been buying from her, I've not had a problem with her. I think when I first started buying from her, uh, you know, not so much. Um, she would just do like one, you know, but I think once she starts to know your name and know that she's going, you're going to go and buy your scent request. And then if she puts up more than one, if it's a good scent, you know, people are going to snatch it up. Then she will f start fulfilling all of your scent requests. You know, and that's what she's been doing. She's been fulfilling all of my scent requests. Sometimes I put in a couple of week and she, by the end of the week, she will have um, fulfilled all my scent requests. So you just have to watch, but very consistent company. She factors in her shipping from what I've been told and from the prices into her prices. So that's why it's free shipping. Um, cause her stuff can, you know, probably a tad bit, be a little tad bit pricey, but you know, that, that free shipping play a Jedi mind trick with you. It's like, Oh, free shipping, but it's, it's factored into the price. Another one, I don't mean to show that one right yet is rainbow melts. Another very good company, very consistent company. When she restocks, you have to be on it because they completely wipe her out. Her Halloween restock, she was open, I think, for like 30 minutes. I missed it. She had some really good uh, scents, but this was the restock before that she had did, and I had forgot and went back on, and she had a few things left, so I snatched it up. This threw crazy well. I melted this in my bedroom and... I put it in the 20 watt warmer downstairs in the family room. These were melt in 18 watt and 20 watt hot warmers. And this was melted in the 18 watt. But this was melted in the 18 watt Yankee Candle and a 20 watt, no, a 20 watt Glade warmer in the 18 watt Yankee Candle. This was melted today downstairs in the family room and you don't have to look for it just like with these and this you don't have to look for it and that's what i'm, I'm starting to look for in my fragrances i don't want to have to sniff around and look for it i want to be able to smell it even when i'm just when i've been sitting in it all day and with all of these you don't have to look for it you can smell it even when you've been sit, sniffing it all day or been sitting in the same room um this actually sent it up my whole downstairs um it what i didn't like about this one though is that it dried down to like a brown sugar i could smell it like the brown sugar scent in it in my bedroom this is still kicking very strong downstairs so so far i'm not smelling the brown sugar in this but out the gate you would get like a, a 9 10 and then it was slowly slowly start to go down this is another one that you can melt for over 24 hours like you can turn the warmer off and turn it back on the next day and it's going to still be going then my last one lord y'all i just got this yesterday and you know i had to test it because it smelled so good i melted it in my bedroom and downstairs and upstairs in the 18 watt both of them 18 watt warmers one is pink zebra one is yankee candle Lord, y'all, this went walked all the way down my son's bedroom. It, I was able to smell this all the way over and over the entire loft, even downstairs into the foyer, my office. Oh my goodness, I should have bought all of these. And this was the banana serendipity birthday cake. 
Peace.